Tapping too close to an old tap hole can result in hitting stained wood. It happens more than producers think. Tapping into stained wood results in a reduction in sap yield. Sap loss to tapping into stained wood means lost revenue. It's recommended that producers keep track of how often they hit stained wood. Inspect wood shavings and keep a tally. Avoid stained wood as much as possible. 5% or less of trees tapped is a good goal. The amount of sap lost from a single tap hole is proportional to the amount of stain encountered. If only a small amount of stain is hit, the tap hole will still produce a good amount of sap. If most of the tap hole hits stain, sap yield will be very low. We can easily estimate the total percentage of sap lost from an entire woods by dividing the percentage of stained tap holes by two. For example, if a producer hits stained wood 10% of the time, sap yield will be reduced by 5% across the entire sugar bush. To put that into economic terms, let's assume a producer has an average yield of 10 gallons per tap and hits stained wood 10% of the time. This means collecting 5% less sap, or a half gallon less sap per tap over the entire operation. At a bulk value of 50 cents per gallon for sap, this results in a loss of 25 cents per tap in revenue. At retail prices, this scenario costs the producer 50 cents per tap. For producers with higher yields, the consequences have even larger economic impacts. Hitting stained wood 10% of the time in an operation with a sap yield of 20 gallons per tap would mean the loss of a gallon of sap per tap and revenue losses of 50 cents per tap for bulk syrup and a dollar per tap at retail. Hitting stained wood results in serious impacts on both sap yield and the bottom line. Paying attention and taking efforts to reduce hitting stained wood while tapping will help you get more sap in your tanks and put money in your pocket. Music